Hi, second grade. This week for math, we are going to talk about collecting, organizing, and reading data. We're going to look at picture graphs or pictographs and bar graphs, and you're also going to be collecting some data of your own at home. Let's go ahead and get started. So second grade math data. By the end of today, I want you to be able to say, I can view and draw a picture and a bar graph to represent and compare data. I also want you to be able to say, I can collect and organize data through interviews, surveys, and observations. First, how do we collect data? Number one, think of a survey question to ask. What is a survey question? A survey question would be something you can ask people to collect information from. Maybe what color are your eyes? Or what sports do you play? What's your favorite kind of ice cream? What's your favorite color? What kind of shoes do you have? Our survey question is going to be, how many different pairs of shoes do you have? Next, you need to decide on three to six choices to be able to make your graph. We are doing how many different pairs of shoes do you have? And here are my three choices, tennis shoes, sandals, and boots. The last thing you need to do to collect data is collect the data by investigation with tally marks. So to investigate means that maybe you're going and looking at your own items or maybe you're asking somebody else and you are going to mark those items with tally marks. Let's see what that looks like. So how many different pairs of shoes do you have is our question and I made this little chart here so I can go put tally marks next to tennis shoes, sandals, and boots. So I went in my closet and I counted that I have four pairs of tennis shoes. Those are my four tally marks. I have six pairs of sandals. If you've never made tally marks before, we do four up and down and then the fifth we slash through here so it's a group of five so as our tally marks get bigger we can count by five so i know i have five six pairs of sandals and three pairs of boots now how do we graph data first we're going to talk about a pictograph which is also known as a picture graph a pictograph uses pictures to show the data collected you always need to make sure you use the tally marks you made to make your graphs. So here is my first pictograph. I knew I had four tennis shoes, so I used four pictures of the tennis shoes, six sandals and boots. Let's look at this a little more specifically. All pictographs have a title, labels, key, and data. The title tells us what is the data showing. The data is showing pairs of shoes that I have. The labels tell us what does each section stand for. We know that this row stands for tennis shoes, this row stands for sandals, and this row stands for boots. And finally, the key to let you know what each picture stands for. So we know one pair of shoes equals one pair of shoes. And finally, you always have the data. So because my tally mark said I had three boots, I put three pictures of shoes. Same with sandals, same with tennis shoes. Does that make sense? Let's look at this a little bit differently. Some pictographs use all different pictures. So you can see they used tennis shoes for tennis shoes, sandals for sandals, and boots for boots. It still has all the same things, the title, the labels, the data. What has changed is the key. The key now shows us that tennis shoes, sandals, or a pair of boots equals one pair of shoes. 
Now, bar graphs. A bar graph uses bars to show a picture of the data collected. Just like we did for our picture graph, we need to use our tally marks to make our graph. Here is my bar graph. You can see that it has some of the same things that the pictograph has, but some things are different. A bar graph has a title, numbers instead of labels, the labels are down here, and the data. Hmm, a bar graph doesn't have a key. That's because we can see over here with the numbers how many of each we have. So just like the pictograph, the title tells us what is the data showing, pairs of shoes. The numbers tell you how many of each. The labels tells you what each section stands for, and the data shows the information. You can see here when we compare the two that they have a lot of similarities, but the pictograph has a key and the bar graph has numbers instead. Now we need to answer questions about the data. We can create data, but then we want to look at it and really think about what we've discovered. We can learn a lot by looking at the information on bar and picture graphs or pictographs. How many shoes are there in all? Go ahead and pause and see if you can figure this out. I counted up the tennis shoes, the sandals, and the boots. Four plus six plus three to get 13. How many more tennis shoes are there than boots? Go ahead and pause the video to figure this out. I knew I had tennis shoes and boots, so that was the information I was looking at, and I needed to know how many more tennis shoes. So four minus three equals one. One more pair. How many sandals and boots are there together? Hmm, pause the video, see if you can figure it out. I knew that I needed to add sandals and boots together because we wanted to know how much they were together. Six plus three equals nine. Now we're gonna look at the bar graph to answer our questions. How many more sandals are there than boots? Hmm. Well, we had six pairs of sandals and three pairs of boots, and I need to know how many more sandals I had. So that is six minus three equals three. How many tennis shoes and sandals are there together? Pause the video to figure it out. I knew that I had to add tennis shoes and sandals together. So six plus four is 10. What type of shoe is there the most of? Pause your video to find out. Hmm. I have to look which one is there the most of. I can see that this bar is the highest. That means sandals. Which type of shoe is there the least of? Hmm, which one has the least? I can see that Boots has the least at three. As you're working this week, second grade, remember the parts of a bar graph and the parts of a pictograph. All of the parts are important to make sure that you're collecting data and reading data accurately. I can't wait to see what you learn. Bye.